Hi guys, it's Xenia. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is in collaboration with Be Layered. I was so excited when they reached out to me because they're just one of those brands that I've seen so many people talk about and a lot of people are sponsored by them. And I've always just been really curious about them. So when they reached out to me, of course, it was like a duh. Of course, I was going to say yes and test them out for myself and let you guys know if they're good, if they're bad. As per usual, I think you guys get it at this point as all of my sponsored videos. I don't lie when it comes to these videos. Obviously, there's no reason for me to. And I only work with companies that don't give me like this script of things that I need to say or like I need to say that their products are good. I don't work with those type of companies. This is one of those companies where they were just like, we're gonna send you these fragrances, talk about them and like, that's it. These are my own real honest opinions. So I hope you guys can trust that that is what I'm giving you, but I am so excited to get into these fragrances because no joke, I have fallen in love with specifically one of these fragrances. I love all of them. I'm kind of torn between two, but I think I definitely have like my top, top favorite. And I think it's gotten like up there. I've been wearing it a lot. So before we get into the fragrances, as far as the brand of Be Layered, I know you guys have seen me do a lot of collabs with a lot of dupe houses. And this company, I wouldn't say that they are just a dupe house because they do a lot more. Be Layered is a company that offers high quality perfumes at a affordable price. When you go on their website, you're gonna find that there's kind of like three categories of fragrances. So of course, one of those categories is inspiration fragrances, but they do also have a category on their website of just their original blends. So just their original creations, not duped or inspired by anything. And then they also have a little section with single note fragrances. The whole hype of layering has really, really, really popularized lately. It's not really a hype, it's just people realize that you can smell a lot better if you put things together. So I think a lot of companies are kind of like getting on that and so I I thought that that was really unique. So it's basically kind of like a little summary on this house. By the way, if you guys hear like dinging sounds throughout this video, I think somebody's moving like right next to me. So I keep on like hearing noises and yeah. So I have one perfume in each of those categories that I just mentioned. So with all that being said, before we get into it, please make sure that you are subscribed to my channel and turn your post notifications on and let me show you these amazing perfumes. So when you receive these, they come in these cute little bags and then the perfume itself looks like this. I actually opened up my favorite of this video, so I'm gonna leave that for last because I really wanna talk about this one. So I'm gonna start off with one of these. So the biggest size and kind of like the standard size on their website is a 1.8 ounce bottle. But depending on the perfume that you are getting and depending on which category it's in, whether it's like one of their own original blends, a single note fragrance or an inspired fragrance, the prices do kind of differ. So the first category that we're going to be kind of talking about is the single note fragrances. So the perfume that I got for this category was Gelato. When they asked me to pick out fragrances for this video, this was like one 100% a scent that I needed to have because you guys know my love for sweeter scents, for gourmand scents. I love anything that smells like whipped cream, that smells creamy, that smells decadent, just sugary. Oh my God. One thing I would say about these fragrances that was like my first impression and I also realized that through like the whole testing process is that these babies last. Like they last more than my high-end designers do and I'm not just saying that. Literally the first day that I got these, obviously I was so excited so I like ripped into them and I just sprayed them out. The next day I could still smell it not only on my clothes but like on my skin and you know typically perfumes like just evaporate off of your skin after a few hours, even a really long lasting perfume. So the fact that these stuck to me for like over a day, I was super, super impressed. So the single note fragrances are going to be on the cheaper end on their website. So for example, Gelato, the standard 1.8 ounce, retails for $33.95, which is like absolutely amazing. And you can also get this in a 10 milliliter. That kind of goes for all of their fragrances. The standard big size for all of them is a 1.8 ounce, but you could also get a travel size version. So the travel size for this retails for $24.95. Now only for this one, I would definitely recommend that even when you're trying this scent out, definitely go for the bigger size because the standard 1.8 is $33 in comparison to 24 for the 10 milliliters. So it kind of just makes more sense to get 
the bigger size because you're only paying $10 more for a lot more of the product. That's not for all of them because the other ones are a little bit more expensive, like the bigger sizes. So there is a little bit more of like a drastic price point within the bigger size than the smaller size. But with this one, definitely, definitely go for the big size. It's definitely the best value for your money. And it's already so inexpensive. You just might as well just get the big size. So gelato, I am absolutely in love with this scent. This is a scent that I have always wanted. I don't think I have just like a standard gourmand scent that just smells creamy and decadent. Like, of course I have gourmand scents in my uh, collection, but I feel like I have more gourmand body sprays than I have gourmand perfumes. So with this being a single note fragrance, the only notes that I can really find on this if I go on Fragrantica are whipped cream and ice cream. Considering this is gelato, obviously it's going to give you that vibe. This scent to me, smells exactly like you were just walking into an ice cream shop. I'm sure you guys all know what I'm talking about or even like that scent, you know when you walk into like those bakeries at like Disneyland, it's like this scent that literally just gives you serotonin because you just smell like this cozy sugary dessert vibe. This is exactly what this scent reminds me of. And to kind of put this into perspective, if you like scents like Fresh Cream by Philosophy, if you like Cherosa 71, you know, like that really, really just cookie-esque type scent. It's basically in that scent family. If you guys know what Christmas cookie smells like from Bath & Body Works, well now you have it in a perfume. But this doesn't really smell so much like cookies. It definitely has like a vanilla scent to it, but more so in like a birthday cake, whipped cream type of note, or like ice cream. It straight up just smells like vanilla ice cream. It's a very simple fragrance, so there's not really much to explain about this one because it's a single note fragrance. There's not really much going on in it, but it is just such a beautiful mixing scent. Like pair this up with another like decadent perfume that you have and you will be smelling like a walking cake. So I think you would have to love sweet fragrances to even look in this direction. If you're a vanilla lover, you love gourmands, you love sweet, decadent, creamy, vanilla, you wanna smell like a snack, sprinkles, just all of the desserts, <laughs> this is your scent. It's literally making me wanna crave vanilla ice cream. So that is gelato. This next scent has probably my favorite name that a perfume has ever had in the history of time. Like, I don't know how other companies haven't thought of naming their perfumes this, but if I made a perfume, I feel like this is what I would name it because it's just so raw and so real. So this perfume is called Fuck Me. So this scent falls into their original creations category. So this wasn't created with any sort of perfume in mind. It's not an inspired fragrance. Although when I smelled this, one perfume definitely comes to mind a perfume that I have in my collection that I absolutely adore. I don't know if that was their intention when making this perfume because it's not on their inspired fragrance list. So I feel like maybe they were not intending this to smell like anything, but it just like ended up smelling like another perfume. And this perfume reminds me a lot of Paco Rabanne Olimpea, which I freaking love. Olimpea is like it, it smells like you're walking into a perfume shop. It smells like salty vanilla, but not in like a gourmand way. Definitely not anything close to like gelato, anything like decadent and super gourmand and edible. That's not what this is. It smells very, very sexy and rich. There is a freshness to it, but it's also pretty dense. This has notes of ambergris, vanilla, jasmine, mandarin, orange, ginger, and sandalwood. So. There's no salty note at least stated in here, but I'm definitely getting a salty vibe. Like it just puts me in the mindset of summer. Like this is definitely a stunning summer scent. It smells super feminine and in the summer heat, this is not gonna be too much. I can definitely smell the jasmine in here, which I absolutely love, but it's in a sweetened out way. I wouldn't say that this is a floral so much so as this is more of like a vanilla woody, with the hint of jasmine scent. I really, really enjoy this. If you like scents like Paco Rabanne Olimpea or Vanilla Vibes by Juliet Has a Gun, those are two scents that this definitely falls in the family of. So if you're into those, you will definitely, definitely love this. And I honestly don't think I've ever met a person that has told me that they don't like Olimpea. Like Olimpea is just that scent. It smells like a hot girl, like an effortless, sexy, beachy goddess. So that is 
fuck me, I definitely think that that's a perfect name for it because it gives off like seductive, sexy, sultry vibes. And as far as this perfume, the 1.8 ounce does retail for $53.95, whereas the travel size 10 milliliter version retails for $24.95. So this would be one that if you wanted to just test it out and you didn't want to commit to the full bottle, then it would kind of make sense to get the travel size if you just really really didn't want to like blind buy this but still even though there is like a decent enough price uh difference i still think that the bigger size is a lot more worth your money with these fragrances so that's just the route that i would take obviously you do what you want but i'm just kind of giving you my recommendation now let's get into my absolute favorite i cannot stop sniffing this perfume and even after this video gets filmed and i kind of get to know these fragrances even more this will be a for sure permanent perfume in my collection because i have fallen that in love with it and i can like 100 percent say that this, oh my god, this scent is no joke. This scent smells so freaking good. This one does come out of the inspiration fragrances category, so this is meant to be a little bit of a dupe. This is called Dolled Up, and this is inspired by Supreme Bouquet by Yves Saint Laurent. I've never smelled Supreme Bouquet. I have no idea what that smells like in comparison. I'm just kind of smelling this on its own. I believe this was the perfume that I first sprayed out when I first got the package and it stayed on me for the next day. I could even smell it like way into the night in the next day because I wore like the same hoodie the next day. And I'll continuously get whiffs of it on like the sleeve of my hoodie. This is a stunning, stunning perfume. This has notes of tuberose, fruits, jasmine, amber, pear, ylang ylang, patchouli, musk, and pink pepper cannot stop sniffing this although the uh dupe of this is called supreme bouquet so i guess you would think that you would smell a very floral scent i mean i guess i can smell some hint of florals but i find this very sweet but just so stunning and even my mom really liked this and as i've mentioned before my mom is not a lover of the sweet fragrances she likes fresh effortless kind of fragrances and she loved this even though this is to me at least a sweeter fragrance by the way can i just say the atomizer i don't know if you can pick it up on camera but it's so good and for me that is something that i really really value in perfumes because being such a huge lover of perfumes i definitely notice all of like the little nitty gritty details i have so many perfumes that i absolutely love in my collection but the sprayers are just like horrible that honestly just because of that reason it makes me kind of put them on the back burner because i don't want to like spray out a perfume that would just like spit at me i feel like when you spray a perfume you kind of want it to like diffuse nicely and kind of hit everywhere that's just a little bit of a thing that i noticed about these but oh my god this scent i'm not really even sure how to explain it but this smells very elegant to me but definitely definitely very sexy and can i just say i mean i already told you how long lasting this is but this is a powerhouse fragrance when it comes to projection i could spray this here and somebody could be like two rooms away from me and they will smell it because it seriously like fills up a room i'm literally in like a scent bubble just from that one little spray that i just did of this because it is that strong so although these are like standard 1.8 ounces you may not think that that is like a lot a lot considering like the standard size usually for perfumes is 3.4 this stuff you literally only need two sprays like that's it. Being like somebody like me, I tend to definitely overspray with perfumes. Like I douse myself, but I would kill somebody if I did that with this. Two little spritz, you're gonna last like it all day and everybody's gonna smell you, trust me. This just smells like you have a full face of makeup on, you have heels on, you have like this really, really nice fancy dress on, nice jewelry, looking good in every way possible. Like you're just dolled up. That's exactly what this smells like. I would not consider this like an everyday type of fragrance. I definitely would reserve this for like special occasions. And if you've been thinking about buying a scent from Be Layered, but you just don't know really where to start because I mean, I get it. It could be kind of overwhelming. They do have a lot of options. I would definitely say go for this one. It's like stunning in every single possible way. It just smells powerful. I feel like this is a scent that you wear and it just makes you confident. And just like a uh, me this one also retails for $53.95 all right guys so that is it for this video i hope you guys liked these perfumes i really 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 love these i think that honestly dolled up will be in my collection forever like i absolutely love it if i could rate them definitely i would say dolled up would be number one 
And honestly, I'm still so stuck on these two, but I think I would say gelato as my second, and then I would put f me last. Not because I don't like this, because I love Olympia, but I already have the perfume in my collection, so this is like a familiar type of scent to me. So I would definitely say dolled up, gelato, and f me. But really guys, if I could recommend one perfume, dolled up all the way. So that is it for me today. I want to just give a huge thank you for Be Layered for reaching out to me and collaborating with me on this video. Please subscribe to my channel if you have not already and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!